boxing aficionados. What's up? What's going on? Hey, yo, check this out, man. Uh, my thoughts on uh, on Valdez versus Stevenson. First of all, kudos to Tom Rank for making this fight. It's the type of fight that um, that's a rarity these days, right? I mean, if you think about it, you have a chance f- for uh, a promotional company to benefit from <clears throat> the undefeated status of both fighters. You know, they could they could um, marinate this a little longer and have both fighters fight against you know less credible opponents and ensure they're padding their records. But instead, uh, they're getting to fight right now. Right when when boxing fans are, are clamoring for it. And quite frankly, probably takes people a little, get, a little getting used to. You know, sometimes we, we, we're just not used to getting what we want as boxing fans. And then when we get it, it's like, uh, it comes a little too easy. So I don't want to digress from, from the actual, uh, in ring, uh, vitality of this fight. You know, as far as picking a winner, I'll tell you right up front. I believe that Shakur Stevenson is going to win this fight. I believe that I believe that that Shakur Stevenson is going to win by stoppage. I say this because because Oscar Valdez is 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 going to want to prove something and he's going to want to inflict punishment on Shakur Stevenson and Oscar Valdez fights with a lot of heart, and uh, I feel that he might um, revert to what he knows, which is to bang him out, pressure, come forward, especially when he sees himself down a few rounds uh, to Shakur Stevenson. And Shakur Stevenson, uh, Shakur Stevenson will then pick him apart. I can also see Shakur Stevenson just pressuring uh, Oscar Valdez Um, and it becoming a little bit of a firefight, but with Shakur Stevenson getting the best of it, I think he has uh, the superior reflexes to Oscar Valdez and uh, therefore he's the one least likely to get hit with something that he doesn't see coming. Um, having said that, I will say that if Oscar Valdez does win, it would have to be by stoppage, and it would have to be where a situation where Oscar Valdez does something, fights so out of character that it surprises Shakur Stevenson. I believe that Oscar Valdez would have to make Shakur Stevenson be the aggressor and become a a counter puncher himself. I believe that that that's a way that he can catch uh, 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 Shakur Stevenson with one of those left hooks or right hook, but basically the left hook and um, stun Shakur Stevenson and going for the kill. But, um, you know, that's, that's, that's the tactic that I believe would work for, for Oscar Valdez. But I doubt that he can implement it. Having said that, I, um, I congratulate this fight, you know, all parties involved in making this fight. I congratulate Bob Arum, Top Rank, Shakur, uh, uh, Oscar, uh, Jay Prince, uh, 
uh, Oscars handlers, uh, you know, the trainers. It's it's just a great, great, great event. My hope is that it turns into a classic. Um, you know, the type of fight that that transcends uh, uh, the event itself and becomes uh, the stuff that elevates both fighters, you know, because, um, you know, I wouldn't want one of the fighters to suffer the type of loss that renders them uh, unable to uh, progress, move forward from that loss, you know, uh, and, and get big fights down, down, down the line. That's, that would be a shame, but, uh, you know, what I like about this promotion is that what I like about this promotion, uh, one of the things that, 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 that is really impressive to me is, uh, the shoulder programming surrounding this fight, the blood, the blood, I get a, what is it? The sweat and tears, blood, sweat and tears it is. I think that the top rank is doing. And uh, I think about that because not so long ago, it seemed like top rank had no shoulder programming. I I, I was embarrassed for them, you know, like, um, um, PBC had them beat in so many ways. Um, PBC had shoulder programming, support programming from both the Fox and Showtime. Um, and, and top rank was, whew, uh, wallowing in the mire. Um, this was like about, let's say about even up to, uh, two and a half years ago. They were further behind in PBC and shoulder programming. But they've come roaring back from that and have now surpassed them by so much, man. Uh, with their state of boxing, with Maxon boxing, with their blood, sweat, and tears, with their uh, uh, Oscar Valdez made in Mexico, uh, um, Shakur, This Is Me or Being Me. Uh, which is on their YouTube channel, um, the TR Boxing YouTube channel. Uh, you can get, you can find all those videos, and and it lends itself to a big fight atmosphere. It's it's really quality uh, 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 on par with twenty with HBO's twenty four seven. Um, it really is, and um, it's impressive. It's impressive. Um, I think some people accuse Top Rank of, you know, in the back, in, in the haters, right? The Top Rank haters, the Bob Bam haters. They, um, you know, it's funny. They're finding a way to be critical of the fight that that's already made. And their criticism of the fight, they feel that, one of the major criticisms was that this fight, that Shakur is only getting this fight because of uh, Bud Crawford's Bud Crawford's lawsuit against uh, Bob Arum, uh, where he uh, cites, uh, you know, racial bias on, on, on behalf of Bob Arum. And so they feel like, you know, Bob Arum made this fight because... Um, he's trying to cover his tracks or something like that, which is so ridiculous. It's something that's been dispelled by Shakur Stevenson himself in that he said, he said in an interview uh, uh, not too long ago that the fight, where he mentions that himself, he says, well, people think that I got the fight because of, of, Bob, of, Bud, of Crawford's lawsuit, but he, you know, this fight was presented to me before Bud Crawford's lawsuit, right? What happened with this fight uh, where he's accusing, uh, um, where, where Shakur Stevenson 
is accusing Oscar Valdez of really not wanting this fight. And people are criticizing Oscar Valdez as not really wanting this fight and, uh, you know, trying to have ducked uh, Shakur Stevenson. Um, what happened, you know, part of it's partially true. Um, I think Oscar Valdez's people wanted the uh, Navarrete, right? I'm not sure if his people wanted it or Oscar Valdez wanted it. And it's a fight that would have been huge. It was the fight that I would have wanted to see, right? I mean, it's a fight that, that would have been made a lot of sense for uh for um for Oscar Valdez and it's a fight that uh, Navarrete wanted also. Navarrete wanted this and Fernando Beltran of Zanfer Zanfer promotion. I believe the guy's name is Fernando Beltran, right? They all wanted this fight to be made. Oscar's people, Beltran, Navarrete's people, they wanted this fight to be made. What happened is that Navarrete is having contractual issues with Beltran. And they had to... Uh, you know, you haven't seen Navarrete fight, you know, you know, I mean, come on. Navarrete was fighting five, six times a year, right? He he, he fought the year before about five times, right? He was in the ring constantly. And now it is, we're now in almost, well, yeah, we're, we're in the fifth month, almost in the fifth month of the year. Um, Basically in the fifth month of the year, and we haven't seen Navarrete at all. Right. So something is is afoot. Something is amiss. He's got to figure that out. He wants to get out of the. Uh, of the Beltran portion of his contract, since he's being uh, uh, co-promoted by top rank and Zaffer. So he he's declared free agency from them and and they have to clear that whole thing up in the meantime. Um. Another thing that came about was um, Oscars being, um, you know, controversy behind his last fight against Concesao. And, and I feel Oscar Valdez being the man that he is um, felt a little pressure to take this fight, clean that up, uh, his image up. You know, because not only was he suffering, uh, not only was his image suffering uh, being, you know, accused of cheating and things like that, but also was also being accused of ducking Shakur. So it's a lot for his image to take, a lot for his ego to take. Um, so he took the fight. Having said that, what's to criticize? We're having the fight. No matter why he took the fight or the circumstances surrounding that fight, we have the fight. So as boxing fans, why would we even, um, you know, give that any energy? Why? I'll tell you why. Because boxing fans need controversy. Boxing fans need drama. And boxing fans are, a lot of boxing fans are a bunch of bitches, a you know, you know what? Let me clean that up. <laughs> I forget you can't be, you know, politically incorrect anymore. Um, but yeah, boxing fans, man, you know, you know, catty chatties, man, chatty caddies, right? That that's, it's I, it's amazing. A lot, you know. Let's face it. A lot of boxing, most boxing fans are male, and and these guys have some real. I don't know. Feminine ways, you know. Like for me, I got the fight. I don't care why it's with me. It's coming to fruition. I'm gonna celebrate that. I'm gonna enjoy that. I'm gonna watch that. You know, for what it is. What What else do I have to 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 uh, delve into? You know, the reasons why I'm getting what I'm getting. Oh. If it's what I want, then I'm gonna enjoy what it is, what it is, and that's all. But some people know. A lot of the haters 
want to somehow discredit the fight for it being made under, you know, less than ideal conditions. It's ridiculous. In their mind, less than ideal conditions. Um, I will say this. I think that it is the prominent fight of the day. I know that there's some um, people thinking that, well, Eddie Hearn wants to make it about uh, Taylor versus Serrano. That's a big fight. But Taylor versus Serrano is a regional fight. Taylor versus Serrano is a regional fight. Yes, it's it's global in the sense, or international in the sense, that Katie Taylor is a big UK star. But, you know, she's no Anthony Joshua, right? She's a big star in women's boxing, but... The fight is taking place in the United States, and that means that it's going to be televised in England what, at dawn or something like that. So um, in the wee hours of, of the morning, you know, it's, it's not going to be what it could have been out in England. I think it would have been a bigger fight in the UK than it was in, in the United States. But we have it in New York, and as far as the fight itself in the United States, it's a regional fight. It's a regional fight. It's big in New York. You know, the Empire State Building, this and that and the other. has gotten lit for the fight and a lot of buzzing around Madison Square Garden. But in the entire United States, in the United States, the biggest fight is Valdez Stevenson. You can't even argue the point. You can't argue it. You know, um... Women's boxing is not as big in the United States as it is internationally. It's that it's in, U- in the UK. I mean, it just isn't. So therefore, Valdez, uh, uh, Valdez, um, uh, Valdez uh, Stevenson is the bigger fight. It's also buoyed by uh, uh, the NFL draft, which is um, using. Uh, is, is is being used as a vehicle to carry the fight, you know. Uh, that's who's bought all the tickets to 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 the event in in Las Vegas. Uh, you know, it's expertly it's being expertly promoted. I believe that most uh, boxing media, most boxing pages that I've seen uh, is is talking about Oscar Valdez. And Shakur Stevenson, it's a hell of a fight. Somebody zero's got to go. Um, Prime, uh, it's a star making potential. It's a star making vehicle for the winner of the fight, especially if it's a a classic or or or, or really shut down performance by either fighter. Um, could put him on a pound for pound list. Um, so it's, 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 it's a hell of a fight. That's the stuff that's been missing from, you know, the sport of boxing, as far as making uh, future pay-per-view stars, future, uh, hall of famers. It's been missing from, from, you know, from boxing for a while, Coming from an era where Spence and Crawford can't get made, Spence and Crawford could was just as big as it is today. Uh, three years ago, four years ago, it hasn't really grown much. I don't believe it's grown much. Just because it's not for undisputed doesn't really mean that interest interest in it hasn't really grown much in the sense that it's still. The same hardcore boxing fans who would have seen it, who were interested in it three, four years ago. It has not garnered the casual fans' attention. Crawford Spence has not garnered the casual fans' attention. It has not. It hasn't. None of them have crossover appeal because both of them are like watching paint dry when, when they get interview none of them are interesting characters in and of themselves 
you know, Shakur Stevenson, on the other hand, has the million dollar smile. Shakur Stevenson has the personality that crosses over. Shakur Stevenson has the it factor. The way he talks to the media, the way he handles, the way he's himself, the way he's easy to dislike. You know, a lot of people boo said they don't like Shakur Stevenson. A lot of people love him for his skills. That's a perfect mix of interests that crosses over. And if Shakur Stevenson can now put uh, uh, the cherry on top of the cake with a with a with a hellify star making performance against Oscar Valdez, Shakur Stevenson could rise into quite possibly pay-per-view stardom, depending on his performance tonight, right? Shakur Stevenson is also um, right in the sweet spot of a division that's controlled by his promoter, both at 130, because he has the star in Shakur, and at 135, because he has ties to the guy with the four belts, right? So um, he has a relationship with his promoter of the guy that has the four belts, the four belts at 135. And Haney, and these whole little set 135-pounders. Shakur Stevenson is in prime position to be able to knock off Valdez, Right, unify the division at 130, or at least get three of the belts, right? And then move on and move up to 135 and get a fight with George Cambosos in Australia and knock him off. Y'all think about that, man. It's a hell of a fight. For the for future predictors, Hall of Fame, uh, uh, pound for pound list, um, and a star making uh, uh, event. You know, it is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't. Next level boxing talk, baby. I'm out.